Hello all, welcome to another Pull It Apart Pull video. Today I'm going to um, go through an IC2KL ICOM linear amplifier, uh, full ham radio amp uh, from 80 through to 10 metres. Uh, this was uh, given to me by a good friend uh, for restoration. It does work, it just needs a lot of TLC. I'll just swing you around. Okay, here's the amplifier. It also comes with the power supply for the purposes of not boring you uh, on this initial investigation. Uh, I've removed the covers, um, removed all the case screws. Uh, as you can see, there's quite a mismatch um, and as part of this restoration, we'll bring it, bringing all of the screws back to a uh, two millimeter uh, case screw. Um, the tools that are necessary just during this first stage as I'm going to clean the circuit the PCBs are obviously um, isopropyl alcohol, a range of tools for doing other things. Alright, um, I have cleaned the front face so that's just so that I can start on an even playing field. Um, first investigation um, is that I have a broken case screw here, which I need to get out. Going through over the radio, these are all okay. Um, lots of things to clean here. That's the top amp board. Okay, so I've got another broken case screw here. I need to pull out. And then we go to the power supply board. No more broken case screws there. I'll just I'll just um, bring this forward. I think this is the regulator board here. Okay, we'll just lay the front panel flat. Alright, so there's something loose inside of that. Just let me pull that board apart. Uh, sorry, the box apart. Alright, the first thing I notice, um, again, manufacturer's screws have been replaced over the years. Remember, these things are quite old. Uh, I'll just pull the screws out. First thing I notice on the underneath is wire to the, looks like the base it has broken off. All the other wires seem to be intact. Okay, that's inside. Um, part of the list of repairs needing to do is to replace all the 10 volt caps in here for more modern caps. That fell out, that was loose in there. So I believe that goes in here just to mount the PCB. All right. Okay, so we're moving on. All right, I removed that uh, broken, broken screw. Ended up having to drill it out. Um, also removed the other screw on the side there which uh, both were the wrong thread, just the normal thing that happens. So that's gone. All right, um, just moving on, just trying to find the location of the uh, control switch for the power on and off, as that's going to be the first project to re return this back to factory. Uh, it was bypassed due to a faulty relay, the switch. So the um, amplifier turns on immediately that you turn the power switch on with the power supply unit. All right, so I'm just continuing to inspect um, during this investigation stage and fix minor issues. All right, the project for now is I'm just going to do a quick clean on the, the top amplifier board and put, uh, obviously use the IPA and a horsehair brush. All right, I'll just start mixing the solution. 
All right, so this stage is just as simple as uh, just soaking all the area. Cloth underneath. I'm going to just splash the lens. Hang on a minute. Yes, I did. <laughs> all right, so it's just a matter of getting in here with the with the brush and getting all that grime off I'll come back with the finished item all right so that's the result after just a couple of minutes much much better now that'll uh, continue on to dry and I'll just do the other the bottom board now in the same manner all right the bottom boards now done and we'll go on to the top board all right that board's all done what I'm going to do is from here on I'm going to tidy up the regulator I'm going to fix the wire back onto here I'm going to remove the internal board, which I'll need to remove the insulating um, nut and bolt there, and then just uh, do a quick reflow and remove those caps and replace. All right, I've started just replacing some of these screws. Again, there was three different screws here. My mission is to replace all screws, um, try and repair any damage. Uh, this is my screw selection. And these are the two millimetres which are common on all radios. And they're powder coated, they're not painted. So um, I'm just going to continue that process as I'm going along. Uh, and that also shows me what I need to replace uh, if I leave holes open. So it's very simple, guys. For those who are experimenting um, and you're fixing things, uh, they, they, that expense is around about $25 AUD, just, just on those two millimetres. And they're available very easily all over the internet. So when you, you're pulling something apart and you see something's not right, replace it, put it back to original. No, these are not original, they're not chrome. Okay, um, but I think it's pretty damn close just to be consistent here with this um, uh, restoration. All right, we're back again. Okay, so what I've done is, so far, if we look at the amount of screws there, they're all M2. They all are in, meant to be in M2 uh, spots, including this self-tapper that was forced into one spot. So the only original or real proper screw here that I'm going to reuse is the spacer on the regulator board. All right, so what, what I've done, again, that had a self-tapper in it, that had a self-tapper in it, yet all of these M2s I was able to re-thread and clean the thread and they tighten up as per factory. So I've gone around, as you can see there, black screws, black screws, I'll just flip it over. Uh, black screws throughout the whole bottom, okay? And they all fitted. There's no stripped, or stripped out threads at all. I gave this a quick clean. Okay, and now I'll just fit the face plate back and put us into that position. Okay, all good news. All original um, uh, screw holes have all new screws in them. Uh, if you remember this one here, I had to drill out. I re-tapped that just with the screw. So again, the wrong screw was used. This one here was also a broken screw, if you remember, the black one. That's um, re-tapped, working, all M2 screws, all factory, except it's just not um, uh, chrome. All right, so what have I done here? I've done it. The purpose of today, as I mentioned earlier on, was to start the restoration process and bringing this back to factory specs. Um, I'm, I'm delighted with the progress so far. It's a, it's a really nice looking amp. It's certainly um, had a good life. 
And there's no reason why it won't have many, many more years of uh, good service after this restoration. I'm not painting any covers. Um, the first thing that I will fix, as I mentioned earlier, and I keep mentioning, is the regulator. And I will drill out those um, screw holes and make them the same size and clean off all the extra um, uh, conductive uh, grease. And that's the IC2KL progress so far. All right. Um, remember, this is all about restoration. It's not about being an electronics technician. This is about enjoying the hobby. I'm just showing you that uh, with all the years of my ham radio experience, uh, again, I'm not a tech. However, the um, through reading a lot of um, um, a lot of and uh, experimenting, uh, this is probably the fifth amp that I've worked on, and uh, this will be an easy repair. Um, other amplifiers that I've worked on and, and built have been uh, SB two hundreds by three, uh, TL nine two twos by two, um, and various solid state. Russian and Italian type amplifiers um, But the point of it is that this um, amplifier has a bit of history. It goes back to uh, uh, an amateur called John Ma uh, VK3 um, HA I think it was or MA He passed away. He was a very good friend. He passed away many years ago now, but he really contributed to the hobby He was a medical doctor this was one of his uh, amplifiers and uh, that's why it's in my hands now because previous owners knew that I, I have some skill of restoration and that I'd bring this back to its former glory. And that, that's, that's the focus and I just want to bring you on that journey. Thank you very much for watching this today and enjoy the upcoming videos. Remember, please comment, like and subscribe. It does help. As all YouTubers say, um, I don't do this for the money i'd do it for the satisfaction of sharing what i know thank you hello all welcome to pull it another pull it apart paul video